Hello, my name is Dr. Kieran Judge, and I'd like to welcome you all to the GI Physiology Lab at the Mercy University Hospital Cork. I'm Dr. Martin Buckley. I'm a consultant gastroenterologist and the director of the GI Lab here at the Mercy University Hospital. My name is Lucy Quinlevin. I'm the chief GI physiologist here at the Mercy University Hospital. My name's Aidan. I'm a trainee GI physiologist. My name is Julie. I'm a trainee GI physiologist here at the Mercy Hospital. Today we are going to talk about anorectal disorders, which are conditions that can result in difficulty defecating, otherwise known as passing stool or having a bowel motion. Normal defecation is a complex process. There are several ways which passing stool can become irregular or disordered, but first of all we need to understand how normal defecation works. The process starts a few hours after food is eaten, when it makes its way into the colon or large bowel. Here water and nutrients are absorbed and progressively solid stool makes its way towards the end of the colon to the area called the rectum. When the stool nears the end of the left side of the bowel, muscles in and around the colon slow its passage into the rectum. This is the first of several checkpoints that prevent us from losing control and suffering faecal incontinence. The rectum acts as a storage area for stool until it can be passed out of the anus or back passage. It is rich in blood and nerves and can expand to store a variable amount of stool, which varies from person to person. Once this amount of stool enters the rectum, we get the sensation of needing to go to the toilet. At the same time, this triggers the recto-anal inhibitory reflex. This causes relaxation of the first of two valves that control release of stool. The internal anal sphincter relaxes, preparing us to pass stool. The external anal sphincter remains closed to prevent soiling. When we sit down on the toilet, a sequence of steps begins with gentle pressure from the tummy muscles pushing stool through the rectum, straightening out the muscles around the back passage, and relaxing the external anal sphincter. This allows stool exit the anus and is how we pass a stool. Difficulty passing a bowel motion can be due to problems at any step along this process, usually from poor coordination between the muscles and nerves around the back passage. When certain things go wrong with this process, it can create difficulties passing stool, known as obstructive defecation. This can happen when there are structural or functional problems that prevent easy passage of stool. Some difficulties are caused by problems with stool consistency, where it may be too hard or too soft. In these cases, dietary changes with increased fibre and water intake is often helpful. Structural problems, such as rectal prolapse or damage to the pelvic floor muscles, can arise during pregnancy, childbirth or for other anatomical reasons. Problems with the coordination of nerves and muscles around the back passage can disrupt the normal process of defecation. This is called dyssynergia, and we will discuss these previous two points in more detail in our next video. The good news is, in that many cases, these symptoms can be improved through retraining and movement techniques.